Hello again everyone, this is Hadba from KKC Aideni video. Today's video is actually going to be very amazing because of two things. First one is this shape that's happening here, the double tail lighting. And second of all is that we're going to be remodeling something we modeled a while ago using only the boolean and some pen tool and so on. And this is going to be different because we're going to be doing it in a proper way. You're going to be modeling using correct topology, quad based topology and we're going to see how we can face some problems now we can get through them and yeah this video is gonna be a little bit too long so you gotta stick around and you gotta be patient because maybe it's gonna be two parts but it's hopefully gonna help every beginner out there to get started using Cinema 4D and Commando in the proper way so without any further ado let's get into the video so here we are in Cinema and I'm actually using R21 which is cool and you <laughs> just a refreshment so just click on F2 it's gonna be dedicated for the top view or just middle click and then just go to the top view again or you can just click on these small buttons over here you know just that makes sense okay then just go to options configure or I can download my layout and access it from here which is gonna be much more easier and simpler and then just go to the back and then load in an image that you want to work with for, for our purpose it's gonna be this one and then you just move it around a little bit to just center it then increase the transparency until we can barely see it and work with it and then what you can do is just load the disk and just move it there and we can see that this is not actually centered so we're gonna have to uh, move it up a bit that's about right okay middle then be sure that the subdivision I mean the segments are around I don't know will eight work I mean I think it does work or maybe let's just go for 12 maybe okay so I hope that 12 is gonna work and yeah I think it will definitely work and now the thing we have to do is just to scale this up okay now it's perfectly centered there and then another thing you can do is just click on this then select control a and then it should be like extrude inner you know so now we have an inner part and then click on ul go to the loop selection then increase this I mean the size of this one now it's cool and we can definitely work with it so just click on this point just drag it here I mean just go to this edge sorry and then control and click just go there and actually just go to the polygon pen tool and try to do the same you know sorry okay now it's gonna be an easy fix for this just go to the points and select this one this one this one then this one this one click on T try to scale them down until it becomes zero and you can hold the shift key to be sure that this is actually correct and accurate select them again be sure to deselect this one then T again zero scale okay then just drag this over here now that's that and we actually just want to slide this in so just go to the slide tool right click I mean just right click go to slide okay you, you can see the shortcut over here but I'm just gonna use my tool my layout sorry drag this up this one too 
same with this one and then just go to the model or object selection and then just go to the axis center which is which can be accessed here or if you just really want to make the process easier you can just click on shift and C and then just look for axis center and you're gonna get it or you can just type in slide and it's gonna be there you know very simple stuff and I actually want it to be to update in real time so and I just want the X to be completely on the negative so it's gonna be here and I don't actually care about the Y and the Z because it's gonna be just in the center so as you can see then I can just click on X set it to zero so now it's perfectly centered and I can put this inside a symmetry and once I do so I should just go to the symmetry then just click on this option I clamp points on axis and then delete polygons on axis so just trust me this is gonna make the work much more easier then just go to the loop selection and then click on UL select the outer loop me select this and this and this then deselect this one this one this one and this one then click on control then drag down which is gonna extrude it and yeah that's gonna be cool anyways and actually what this does is if you just disable these two then you're gonna see like a line will be I mean a cut is gonna be created in the center once you just let me just show you an example just can't actually see it now because it was just a plane <laughs> so anyways that's that and what we should do now is just focus on this part and then we're gonna need to also focus on this on this part okay so it's actually gonna be gonna take a bit of time and a bit of practice to get used to how to make this and that's exactly what we what we are here to do just here to practice so just convert the symmetry to an editable object you can just click on C but I have the C set to a different shortcut as you can see and yeah just click on UL while on the edge selection UL select this edge and for sure let's make it really small just like this and then maybe you can just click on uh, this point this point this point and this point and just click on T sorry just be sure the scaling is set to zero okay that's looking good and we're actually doing this just because we want to preserve some of the rounding and edges over here for this cut all right so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna need to do is just focus on this part over here okay so we're gonna create a plus uh, using some splines and it's gonna be like we're gonna just use a rectangular spline and we actually just want the, the, the width to be like a third of the size so it's gonna be like that and just control C control V and then click on R to rotate and then click on shift to make it 90 degrees and now we have a perfectly good looking spline <laughs> okay so this is our plus sign so just select both splines and then just go to the the pen tool or just splines then click on spline union so it's gonna merge them together now we have unified our splines and I actually want this to be very small just move it to the side okay so that's about it and just scale it down a little bit more 
then just put this inside uh, an extrude nerves or you can if you can't really find it again just shift C and then extrude and the nerves just select it put your file I mean put your spline under it as a, as a child and then just be sure that this is set correctly so zero then here you want it to be around I don't know that that can work pretty well okay and then just put this one as the second and then just load in a boolean okay just put them inside a bool and this one I mean the plus sign should be just the second layer so that's perfect and we're actually we actually have to play a little bit around with this and just click on this and check it because we obviously want to see the new created edges and then just make it a single object and then just click on make editable okay then we have our shape over here then just be sure to go to the polygon selection and delete these polygons because we don't actually need them then click on UL and try to get this loop but we can't actually get it or select it so we're gonna have to do this manually okay live selection and I select this 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 one to see that we made a wrong selection and to deselect you just have to click on control and then just click on your selection to have it deselected then delete this now it's looking cool and actually we have we actually have to do one thing okay to select this loop if possible and I see that it's not really possible just select these polygons over here just go to the live selection sorry this is easier then just click on control drag down oh shit <laughs> I don't actually know what the fuck's happening here but it's weird anyways just delete these lines just UL okay delete now it's perfect okay we just have to pull this up a little bit because it shouldn't be so much inwards maybe this is perfect because as you can see it's not it does not have so much inner extrusion okay i think we can live with this and now we have to just right click i mean they're already not uh, and cons so yeah we can just select and then just click on MN to dissolve and then just do the same because we want our cuts to happen over here so let me just exemplify wait oh shit wait just really want it to be like this then just go to cinema 4d again and try to do that and and just try to figure out a way to do this you know just mn merge and just do this again just dissolve this and this 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 dissolve this is already cool and then just click on the point selection and just go to the points that are highlighted in blue delete them go and then if you just miss an edge you just have to go to the edge selection and then click on B to bridge and then you can just recreate the edge that's a very simple process 
Okay, for example, like this. And I see that I have to actually do it here twice. Delete this one, this one, then recreate. That's perfect. Exactly the way I wanted it. But only there is actually a problem here. I just want them to be exactly the same. And this is not actually exactly the same. So it has to actually be uh, like this. You know, just over here. And this has to be big, like this. Oh shit. This had to be like this, and this like this. This like this. Now it's cool. Now I can just relax. <laughs> okay, so it's it has much subdivisions to work with, and it's actually good for us. So what we can do now is very simple. Actually, we can just click on these points because if you just put this inside a subdivision, it's just gonna look like crap. Watch this. I mean that's a symmetry. Sorry, subdivision. Look at this plus sign is no longer like a plus it looks like a third actually just disable this hold click on a Q then just go in there selecting these points because I, I did this before and it, it was extremely like crap <laughs> so just be sure that these lines are actually properly because I see that I did the mistake there but I fixed it thankfully so just select these points this 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 Wait, sorry, just have to set selection. Okay, I don't know. I don't actually know which selection it was. Just be sure. Set selection. Okay. Then just go to this point because it's something I forgot. Okay go back to the selection okay that's perfect and then just go to I mean just right click on this object and just go to modeling tags then SDS weight subdivision surface weight and again if you can't find it then just be sure to command shift C and it's gonna be bring up this one SDS weight and then you can just load it very simple and then just go to your model and have your point selected and then just go to the live selection you're gonna see a tab right here called subdivision surface and you have to set the strength to 100 and I see that there is actually a problem over here there's this point XP Okay, so that solved the problem and once you put this inside a subdivision you're gonna see that it retained the edges and everything and you're gonna just do some simple editing for this to get some round corners because this is obviously a little bit too sharp for us so now what we can do is just try to work our way around our, our way around this one and I actually miss a polygon right here so just have to go create it and now it's 
perfectly symmetrical. Cool. Just save this project. Okay. And then just try to work your way around this. And have your edge selected. Edge selection. Select this edge. This edge. Push them a little bit to the top. We're recording for 20 minutes, which is a little bit too long, but not bad. I hope you're learning something. <laughs> so that's cool. And this video is actually gonna be maybe two parts or three, so just have to wait and be very patient. Okay. So to make this easier, we're gonna have to drag this divider line and yeah just click on ul and it's hopefully gonna select this line and it didn't so that's a disappointment we're gonna have to do this manually like tolerance selection and just delete this one this one try to put this somewhere in the middle like that that's cool and now editing is gonna be much easier i hope so because i'm not quite sure <laughs> anyways uh, let's get started with this and we're gonna have to do a little bit of a trick here because you know it's gonna need so much subdivisions and for that we're gonna have to create some cuts for this so it's uh, just gonna be like KL for loop cut or just create arc I mean loop cut this is hopefully gonna work I want to create a loop cut over here the second one over here just two for this one and two for this one and I'll have to fix this because it's obviously looking terrible Just scale and then make it zero. Perfect. See, ladies and gentlemen, we are improving. shit I don't actually have to select this or this just scale this I don't know why it's just editing this but it's a little bit annoying so maybe what I can do is just create a temporary cut over here to stop this shit from happening and it still does happen so Let's just forget about it. Have it deselected and then we gotta find a, wor a work around this. That's one. Okay, that's better much much better and we're gonna try to do the same for this cut over here Or you know what I can do is just select this edge, just go to the other edge, and then click on Control Shift, then it's gonna select it. Cool. Just move it sometimes because we don't want to create any intersections. Okay, zero. That's perfect. 
should be around this power okay and then just save our project again and maybe just maybe we want to have a copy copy then just have it right here sorry just had a call from my friend and yeah as I, s I, I don't quite remember what I said but I think we're gonna just use the same technique as we used here we're just gonna create a rectangular spline make it very small I'm sorry for the noise it's not me who's doing this so I don't know why I have to apologize but maybe it's just polite <laughs> okay just make sure that the width is small and then just copy it over there and now that we have two copies you can just go to the rotation rotate this around this is cool and just go to the object turn on round in just make it really small like we want just six subdivisions and once we put this inside a subdivision so one it's gonna smooth it out too much maybe <laughs> okay and I actually just want this to a little bit of an intersection there okay we're just cheating okay that's cool and we have to put both of these inside uh, an extrude nerve so just alt click on it it's gonna put both of them inside one just delete okay make it around it doesn't really matter it has just to be enough so you can penetrate this just copy again you know copying is something very crucial you never know when you're gonna lose electricity but I'm not gonna lose it and even if I do lose it I have like a battery but you know Cinema 4D can always crash <laughs> yeah so that's that and we have to put both of these inside a null object inside a group put them as the second parent of the subdivision and then just put both of these inside a boolean operator Okay, so now it's creating our cuts. I mean, I hope it is. Because it doesn't seem to do so. I don't actually know what the hell is happening. Oh, it's just the copy. We had to disable it. Sorry. Okay, so now we have it. we are having our cuts. Looking beautiful. Then just go to the boolean. Be sure that it's creating a single object, and it's a high quality object. And we obviously don't want to hide our new edges because we need them anyway. Just make this editable again. You know, you, you could have saved a copy if you wanted. But I don't want to, so that's oh, it's really important. Shit. Just want to preserve the selection the points. Delete everything else. Sorry. Uh, subdivision just leave everything okay it was just a waste of time and just click on NB to go to ground shading lines so now we can see the lines and all of our edges and how they are interpreted interpolated I mean shit whatever you call that <laughs> So anyways, go to the polygon selection, live selection, go to object, start deleting these because they are 
extremely unnecessary and you're just gonna make things difficult for us and we obviously want things to be easy so just keep on deleting do the same for the other one not sure if it's gonna be like an edge selection because there is or there was a triangle yeah I see it it terminates the edge selection or I mean the loop sorry so now what we have to do is just some read topology okay I mean this is actually not looking bad but I actually want it to look better <laughs> okay so this one has to be dissolved because there is an extra edge and it's not needed you see I'm just trying to figure out a way to okay so this is an, another extra edge I mean you can't really notice that it's extra but it is so just XB create this over here merge blend this with this and dissolve four corners you know you just have to remember to use four corners quads one two three and four very simple stuff then again one two three four one two three this uh, actually can use a modification if we just delete this and just go to XB okay so now we have recreated this and we have one less edge and what we can actually do is just create a cut over here delete actually this and this dissolve them and delete this extra point so it's one two three four edges and now we can do the same for this and this dissolve no it's just optimization just for the sake of optimization and I'm not quite sure but I think we can do something else here and that something could maybe be like linking this one with this one and then you know just having it like one two three four five that's a bit of a problem let me just think about it for a minute I just want to find a way to fix this so after thinking about it for quite a bit I just discovered that creating a line over this and this is gonna make it much better and we're gonna have a quad over here and a quad over here and just a triangle over here we need to do this okay so here we have here we have it and we're just gonna dissolve this it's four edges four edges and if we try to select a loop like UL we can actually have our loop selected and here too so that's perfect and we have like I'm not sure I can say it but a little bit of an equal uh, distribution so this would actually be much better for both of these and yeah that's what we're gonna go with for this purpose of creating these two cuts around this so just select the loops ul select this loop ul2 select the other loop then just go to the edge selection y clicking and holding on the control key so that it converts the points to the edges if you're not on the edges already then just control and drag downwards and just enable subdivision Put it inside a subdivision. And A. And we can see that it's not so bad. But we actually have a little bit of an edge over here which we need to flex. Uh, I mean, we need to 
relax a little bit so I don't actually know what that was so it should be this point this point is Oh, I see. We're having a bit of a problem here, so we just need to delete that and recreate the edges that were here. Because that was an end gone. Let's try again now. That's perfect. Well, looking good. Alright, so just add some cuts right here. Just disable the subdivision quickly. Then click on KL for line cut. Cut it over here. Do the same for this one. And then put subdivision again. And voila! Here we have your cut. And I think there is also a bit of a problem over here so maybe we need to take a look at that and fix it just have to undo the cuts just be sure to delete this one this one so we are avoiding the problems and just recreate you know bridge B for bridge in once you're on the edge selection then recreate That's much better, I suppose. Whoa, I see the problem now. That's actually the problem. We have something we can melt. I mean, we can dissolve. And just delete this one. Recreate the edge. B, bridge now check again perfectly smooth okay so that's a little bit of a problem solving maybe now i can show you a different way of creating edges that aren't exactly the same height and you know it's gonna be fairly simple just click on ul i mean i don't remember like ring selection okay ub Ring select this one and this one and then click on uh, I don't also remember this one so I think it's MF okay for the edge cut then just be sure that it's one then click on apply move the offset to wherever you want and I think I just want to move it up a little bit just down maybe that's perfect on Q, enable the subdivision, looks so beautiful. Okay, and if you look at the geometry, it's not so much distorted and it's very clean over here. And I really like the way that it turned out to be. And we're actually going to do the same, or try to do the same for this one, but it's <laughs> going to be a little bit more difficult than this. So okay, let's just disable the subdivision again and yeah, just extrude this one. Just click live selection, select this, control and just drag down. This has to be a little bit down like this. And then just do the same, UB, ring selection and then MF, apply, move it up like that subdivision looking beautiful and again do the same thing for sorry for this this edge you know because it's too smooth like UB and then add F and apply oh sorry I, I just want to have two cuts Scale should be up. Uh, 
I want to try to get them to be evenly spaced. That's looking good. And if you put this inside subdivision, enable it, it's no longer super smooth. And it's looking fantastic. And again, the geometry is actually the thing that matters to us the most. Just click on NB and it's really smooth. And we can actually just clean this up later on once we finish everything. So it's gonna look a lot more cleaner and a lot more beautiful. And we actually may have to do to add just a cut right here. Like UB like this and then MF just one okay want to be up I mean I we actually we need two like one for the top and the second for the bottom okay scale should be like that it's really small I can't actually see it so and a so beautiful and also so clean <laughs> so anyways I think that's it for this first part and just be sure to click on Control S to save the project and be sure to follow along in the next step because it's gonna have like more things to do we're actually gonna de-smooth de if that's actually a word in English we're gonna try to de-smooth this and we're gonna try to make it look a little bit like this okay so if you enjoyed this video then be sure to share it with your friends family loved ones everyone who's actually interested in learning about 3d peace out everyone